Tonight, a man remains in critical condition after he was hit by a vehicle while riding a scooter on Thursday night. Police say 26 year old Brady Galk made an improper turn and was hit by a Nissan Pathfinder. News 4's Lindsay Nance is working for you tonight. She spoke with Galk's parents and also Vanderbilt doctors about what this all means for Nashville scooter safety moving forward, uh, Lindsay. Brady's parents aren't ready to talk on camera yet, but they tell me they're making the decision to take Brady off of life support tonight as he's surrounded by his friends and family. An innocent night gone terribly wrong. Over the phone, Brady's mother telling us she doesn't want anyone else to go through something like this, stressing the importance of scooter safety. Vanderbilt doctors tell me they've seen a dramatic uptick in scooter crashes since they launched in Nashville around a year ago. Initially, we were seeing um, at least one to two major traumatic events a month. We see approximately one event a day that do not meet the level of requiring admission, but obviously injuries are occurring on the scooters on a daily basis. And these injuries are not an easy fix. The severe injuries are almost all uh, traumatic brain injuries. Uh, intracranial hemorrhage is what we call it, um, and they require uh, a lot more um, intensive care monitoring. Vanderbilt doctors say as peak season for scooters approaches, it's imperative to remember safety. Number one, wear a helmet. Number two, follow the rules of the road. And number three, um, be aware of the situation around you. Brady's parents tell me they're waiting for him to be taken off of life support between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. tonight. This is so that he can donate his organs. His father says, and I quote, we want Brady's life to make a difference in a town he chose to start and live his life.